Good morning, Clinton. It's so great to see you this morning. Happy Monday. It is August 26th and here are a few morning announcements. This is going to be an awesome week. It's going to actually be pretty warm out there this week. So keep that in mind as you're preparing for each school day. There are some sporting events this week at the front end of the week. Tonight is a JV and varsity game at home, and the game starts at 6 p.m. Tomorrow, our junior high A team, JV, and varsity travel to Victory Christian for a volleyball match there. I do want to give you a few reminders about students staying after school. First of all, remember, if you're here because your sibling has a practice, you need to be seated in the cafeteria at all times, not running around the school or around different places. Seated in the cafeteria is the rule. And also, we've had lots of students asking us about after school or evening games. Here's the rule. If the game starts before 4.30, then you may stay after school in order to attend that game. But if it starts anytime after 4.30, you need to leave campus at the normal dismissal time and head home and then come back in the evening for the game when the game starts. This week is inner term, junior high and high school. This is our kickoff retreat that we take each and every year and we are excited. We're going to be leaving on Thursday morning right from school at 8.05. Junior high and high school students, I have sent your parents a link to a waiver that needs to be filled out before we leave on Thursday. I've also put the instructions for what to bring and all the details about inner term in the post and I've emailed that to your parents again with the link. So if you still need that information, I think I'll also make some copies and put them out sometime today in the cafetorium. That way everybody could have a paper copy if they want that too. It's going to be a really fantastic time away for connection and bonding and uh, just, just having fun together. So I'm looking forward to that later this week. On that note, elementary, we don't have all school morning devotions on Friday because our junior high and high school students are all off campus. So keep that in mind, devotions on Friday, this Friday will be in your classrooms because half our school will be at their interterm kickoff retreat. Don't forget, next Monday is also Labor Day, which means we don't have school, yay! I'm excited for a long weekend, and I hope you are too. So no school on Monday, uh, Labor Day, which is next Monday. Well, even though we don't have morning devotions this Friday, I wanted to share a verse of the week, and it is in Proverbs again. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6, and it says this, For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth, come knowledge and understanding. What is the one thing you want most in the whole world right now? Think about it. Don't say it out loud. Just think about it in your mind. What's that one thing that you want so bad right now? Hopefully you wouldn't do anything illegal or wrong in order to get that thing, but what would you do to get that one thing that you really want? What would you give up? What would you sacrifice in order to get it? That's what this passage is about. A father tells his son, pursue wisdom like that, as if it is the one thing, the most important thing that you could possibly want. Be willing to sacrifice for it. Be willing to give up every other thing in pursuit of wisdom from the Lord. Is wisdom from God what you want most? When you thought of that one thing you really want, did you think, I want God's wisdom? I wonder sometimes if we as Christians kind of put that on the list way down after a bunch of other things that we really, really want. And this verse reminds us that we should be pursuing God's wisdom 
as if it was the most valuable thing in the world that we could have, because guess what? It is. It is the most valuable thing that you and I could ever pursue. So this week, think about, are you seeking God's wisdom, his instruction? Is that the most important thing to you? And are you willing to give everything else up in order to have it? I hope so, Clinton. Let's pray. Lord, help us to put you first in all things. Help us to value your voice, your counsel, your instructions, your guidance, your wisdom above all else. Help us to love the pursuit of that wisdom. Help us to give every other thing up in pursuit of that. Whether we're very young or the oldest person listening to this video and everyone in between, God, help us to think about, are you first in our life? And are we pursuing your truth, your guidance, your instruction as if it was the most valuable thing in the world? because it is. God, help us to be running and chasing after you in that way. In Jesus' name, amen. Clinton, I hope you have an awesome Monday.